comes but I'm up I got up when I said I was gonna get up I'm excited to rock today I'm using this as an accountability because your girl is just way too tired these days and I have a lot to get done so I really want to change my surroundings today into something more peaceful something more relaxing and I'm gonna bring you along there's really not not much going on today I'm just here at home with my kiddos and yeah this is just like a normal stay-at-home mom life for me um, but yeah, I'm so happy you're here and thanks for holding me accountable. <laughs> okay, so we're over a month now, I've been doing this thing where one of my habits for daily is to read 10 pages of a book every day. And I think I've gone through three books already. And I'm very proud of that because I have not read a book in a long time. And so the fact that I'm going through them is really good and exciting. Um, so now I'm starting a new book. I didn't finish the, uh, the last one because I just didn't feel like I was like there anymore. So I picked this book. It's called Lioness Arising and I'm so excited. I'm going to start that again today. So my husband really encouraged me last night. I was feeling super like discouraged and honestly I was just overthinking and I'm like I can't do this healthy stuff. I just can't. I'm on a new plan. It's so confusing. I don't get it. I was overwhelmed and I just wanted to give up but I'm not a quitter. Y'all like know that already. But I just felt like, you know, he just told me, he's like, he's like, you're overthinking and it's holding you back. He's like, you don't need to overthink it. You can do it. Just do it. Just take your time on it. And like, so today I'm on week four of the like transition, the maintenance plan. So that means that today, like this week from now on, I get to add grain and extra protein. That's a whole extra lean and green meal into my day. And so, woo, guess we'll see. Lord bless me <laughs> with ideas because I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, and that's why I wanted to bring you guys along just to hold myself accountable and to really show myself that I can do this. It's not that complicated. Protein and veggies. Let's go. <laughs> I think it's like 1 15 I'm ready for my lean and green or I'm ready for it's not necessarily my lean and green but it's my extra vegetable serving and my extra protein serving as well so I'm gonna have my like official lean and green at 5 30 when my husband comes home from work it'll be our supper for everybody and yeah so I just made a salad I guess you can't really see I don't know um if you hear something in the background we're watching the Lion King while we eat our lunch the girls are also eating and so yeah i feel good i'm excited i feel motivated still um i do want to take some time to relax this is usually the time where i get like nauseous and tired and so we'll cross our fingers i still have some cleaning up i want to do and yeah we'll see we'll see how the rest of the day goes
Okay, so I never actually made this before, so I'm curious. I saw a recipe on Instagram, and I'm like, you know what? Let me try it. I also didn't have broccoli, so I did cauliflower, but let's see. Mm, yeah, no, I definitely did not like it. I had to add lemon juice in order for me to actually eat it. Mm, it was not a favorite, and I'm probably most likely 100% not going to make it ever again. <laughs> okay, so I felt like something was missing, but I couldn't put my finger on what exactly it was. With this pregnancy, I have been craving vinegary things, so any vegetable I'll eat with vinegar, just vinegar away. I put lemon juice in it. It's so much better. <laughs> So I'm currently heating up some water. As you probably heard, my microwave just go off. I'm about to have my last fueling. It is the hot chocolate. And I'm so excited because the final fueling, I always feel like it just has to be a hot beverage for me. It doesn't matter if it's summer or Christmas. I just always need it to be a drink. And so, yeah, it just always feels nice and cozy before bed, you know. Sometimes I like to do it with my dairy. Like I'll do the 2% reduced fat milk and have my hot chocolate with that but since i already used it today with like yogurt um then i just have the water and sometimes i do unsweetened almond milk but i use that tonight on supper as well um but yeah today was such a good day like i don't know it's been a long time since i've been this intentional um i don't know but i feel like i really was encouraged by my husband last night and just like it was such a good reminder like it was almost it was almost as if he snapped me into sense basically is kind of how it feels um because again i mentioned i was just in my head way too much and it really kept me from being able to thrive right now and i feel like today that was that's just the perfect word for me thrive i was thriving today i didn't feel restricted i didn't feel like oh my goodness i can't have whatever i was just going with the flow of the day being very mindful and everything you guys saw was everything that i ate i didn't add anything and it makes me very proud and like i feel full I don't feel hungry and that's why I'm settling for a, um, a nice drink for the end of the night because I, I never, I don't like anything heavy before bed. Um, but yeah, I think this was like my first official day where I did the plan, the plan, it's the rough draft, where I followed the rough draft of the plan for maintenance and the three and three Optavia plan. And I feel great. Like, I don't know. I, I feel like I've always picked on stuff outside of the meals and now I actually know like I feel great I don't feel like I need anything so yeah being in this on this plan right now is just it puts me in a position where I have to target my um, emotional eating really really grow from that because I literally am in the exact situation just I, I am not in the exact situation but the my food situation is the same where it's like then I didn't have a plan to follow I knew had like an idea of what I could do you know eat protein eat your vegetables right um, but now I actually have a structure, which I feel really makes it easy for me um, to be able to, yeah, it's not as complicated as it felt. And I know that I just need to have grace with myself because I'm only on week four, right? Um, but it's been so good. It's been so much learning happening and just learning to put my foundation in Christ rather than in food and, you know, um, looking for stability in other places, but turning to him only and I don't know i just feel amazing and i'm so happy with how today went and i'm so excited to keep documenting um these next few days um with the challenge we have going on um but yeah thanks for joining me i hope you um decide to join me and let me coach you and go on this journey with you um and i hope you continue to follow along but yeah thanks for being here thanks for supporting me and watching my videos and yeah i will see you guys in the next video bye